So today we're fishing Mill Creek, located near Newburgh and Doolittle, Missouri. It's a small Ozark spring-fed stream. Mostly full with wild rainbow trout. I don't think Mill Creek's been stocked in over 50 years. But there are creek chub, shiners, and the occasional bluegill in the mix. The fish hold in this river generally in the deeper section, so you're gonna walk through a lot of flat water to find water that's deeper than two or three foot. While generally a lot of the hungrier fish will hold in the front of the hole towards the moving water, often the larger fish will be in the middle to tail end section of these holes, so it's always wise when walking upstream to fish your way up. That way you don't walk over the water and spook the bigger fish. I think I see a big fish. So my setup today is a nine foot five weight. It's probably a little bit overkill for this river. Um, but really anything between a uh, three weight and a six weight would do the trick. Our fly we're using is a size 16 caddis pupa. It's, it really doesn't matter being such a small stream, just really any generic fly. We've seen caddis pupa today. I've seen helgamites, I've seen midges, I've seen worms. Uh, so there's snails everywhere, there's hoppers. So really I think any bug would do the trick. They're hungry fish and they don't get fished to that often. Really your presentation is key. So technique wise, we are nymphing below an indicator. Um, we have about four foot of tippet, 12 foot leader, 5X tippet. And with the sink rate of the fly versus the speed of the water, we're casting about five foot ahead of where we want our fly to present to a fish. So say if we're casting into a riffle that falls off a drop off, we'll land in the shallow water and the riffle maybe four or five foot in front of the drop off so that the fly has time to sink down, come over the rocks naturally and be in the strike zone to present to, present to these fish. So if you watch this video and you end up going and fishing Mill Creek, please comment below and let me know how it was. Tell me what you used. Tell me how, how, how you liked it. If you fish Mill Creek a lot and you're seeing this video, I am so sorry <laughs> for blowing out your fishing spot. I never see anyone here. Every time I come here, I think I've seen two people fishing in the dozen times that I've been here. But this is definitely one of my favorite small streams. Definitely worth the trip. So if you're driving through Missouri, stop through and check it out. Thanks.